signature, like DNA. In other words, it won't, you can't self-pollinate. It takes, it recognizes other pollens. And if those chemically, all the signatures are correct, you know, Mother Nature takes its course. So what happens was, there's a sperm that develops out from the pollen. And it develops a tube it goes down all the way down through the ovary. Just like a woman has a fallopian tube. This is the same serves the same purpose. And as it comes down, it enters the ovary. And between here, it's well what happens in here, it's called a double fertilization cycle. So there's two nuclei inside. Alright, so all of those are ethers, right? All those yellow things right there? Yes, that's correct. Dead center, that would be the and then we have, as I explained, you know, when the pollen ray lands on the stigma, it generates a tiny tube, tip of sperm, and the tube fits into a conduit. Everyone knows what conduit is, right? Well, basically a conduit <laughs> would be the style okay, in the female distal. Okay. It's pretty straightforward there. No question? Any curiosities? All right. And after the pollen tube expands down the style to the opening of the ovary, then it just deposits the sperm at the egg. And the sperm and egg each contain half the genetic material, right? Just like we do, male and female, humans, half the chromosomes from husband and wife. Oh, Plants do the same them. thing. Okay. But there's something, to, like I mentioned, double fertilization. Things will happen here and up here. One becomes the seed, one becomes the fruit. And here I am. Okay, now combined, the sexual union is complete and the egg is fertilized. And so, zygote will be the plant seed. And this is a new term, endosperm. Anybody know what the endosperm would be useful for? Inside. Endo, okay. Latin, there's a Latin phrase here, <laughs> endo. Okay. And? and sperm, well that's just. Does it like make sure it's like really fertilized? Right, okay, really when it does it, it becomes the food. Just like a baby would get food from the placenta. This serves with that same purpose. So that's like the scent of the flower, you're saying. Right. Because huh. the flower, double fertilization, that doesn't occur in humans. I mean, that's when cell division happens. This does also you know, at a later stage. And after that seed is formed, it forms a coat. But this, this is important right here. After that coat is formed, metabolic, you may know what metabolic means producing energy like food and stuff so in other words how we metabolize food so it basically basically becomes dormant so it's storing up all this energy all this food and after after that does it stops it has developed a skin this outer hard like, pinto beans you've seen pinto beans right and they're hard you know, you can't even have to soak them well nature does the same thing but when you plant it in the ground, with the right under the right conditions, the right moisture, heat, nutrients, or chemicals, this seed will develop. From here, it will send out a root, primary root, and through the getting warmer and warmer, it gets warmer. And by photo, photosynthesis, it becomes a living, living plant. And um, can anybody tell me where does where does the endosperm end up, or what does it look like in the, at this stage? Endosperm. You're talking about here. Yeah. Well, this is actually the starting of the root system. So then, is it the outer side? The endosperm is the leaves. Actually, these the endosperm are this main storage area. The bean, so basically, the bean the itself. Food. Right, the food. So it feeds off of this, but once photosynthesis starts, do we need this? Would you say you want that? No. So these drop off, 
and then photosynthesis takes over. It gets all its nutrients from the soil, energy from the sun, oxygen, water, stuff that we need. So, very similar uh, the way we work, the way we live. Plants, you know, plants are the same way. Um, and so, this is just an ordinary bean. And number one would be our food storage or our endosperm. And this, our first leaves would be here. And emerging root. This is a bad picture, you can't tell it. But it actually comes off through here. Basically just splits open. And then the embryo is two items. Like this, I'm sorry, this and this. And then we have the seed coat. That's an operator right there. So, simple slide. What we're writing this all down. Okay. <laughs> and then again, okay, who can answer for who's the where's the embryo? A, B, or C? B, B. <coughs> C. Yeah, no, B is correct. B. Oh, send that man to the room. All right. And the food storage. C. 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 And finally the seed coat. Okay. Hey. Hey. All right. Now let's see what you've learned. <coughs> hey, the test again? Yeah, never ending. Is it the same test? No, nope, never test. Now, if we have seen the video, this would have covered the video. But the slides were as well. You only have to, number one, what characteristics are common in angiosperms? You just put one, you find. Or if you can put more. Can you answer more? That's great. if you would like, while you guys are doing this, I'll just tell you the results. But this time, I'm going to take just one paper and tell you the correct answers. Plants that produce seeds can live in dry environments. So that's, uh, that may have been difficult. Uh, it been a good guess. And flower, flowers, female group, we took the parts are called the pistils. And what characteristic do, um, Gym, gymnosperm share, they produce naked seeds. And all angiosperms, they produce fruit. They are not in tropics or seed this <laughs> or produce cones. Okay. And the energy that produces photosynthesis, this comes from, as I said in, in the lecture, it's from the sun. Angiosperms that live more than two years are in the, a good guess? Annuals are what? Every, every year. year. Every year and biennials are every two years and perennials are perennials. What's a monocot? Do they know what a monocot is? Is it like one season? Or like one year? 
here. There's myelocons and there's diacons. But that's another, another lesson. Myelocons, um, it blooms once. And then yeah. it has a one year lifespan. Yeah. And then what is pollination? It's the transfer of pollen. Wait, so what was, is it? The per years? perennial, it, year oh. after year. And then, and pollination is the transfer of pollen from male to female of reproductive structures. And flowers are structures for reproduction, for number eight. And what part of flower becomes a fruit? It is not the stamen, it's not the pellet. It's the ovary. Yep. All right. And the last one, which factor helps you tell the difference between a monocot and a dicot? Anybody want to throw a guess out there? What's up? So, what tells the what tells the difference between a monocot and a dicot? Number of seeds. Number of years. Number of leaves. You have in their odds. Three, five, seven, nine, and it goes up from there. I learned a lot. You guys. Mr. Crusoe, how come you didn't participate today? I'm sorry. You failed. I've got homework. That's good. We'll have a bell period next. Uh, that's tomorrow. Be here at one. What's that? We'll have a bell period. A bell work. I'm sorry. Mm. So you don't want to wrap it up? Doesn't? Uh, shouldn't take that long. Just a response a brief. 250 words or less. So is this a test? Like a test test? You will not be graded on this test. Majority of listening listening ones are C. Yeah, on the yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. I also can't remember. G. The G? Yeah. Oh, the G. That's, a, that's the uh, filament? No. Oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, because that's B. B? Yeah. No, B. B's the pistol. No, B. No. The filament. Are you sure? Pause yeah. So then maybe G. No, G's not the pistol. So A would be the. Anthony. Yeah, no, A. And then C is the stigma? No, C is filament. Remember what is the style? Remember it? B is the style. Look what they're encapsulating in in the picture on C. Oh yeah, we just did that one. It was looking at the stain. The what? Stamen. Oh, it starts with the nest. I put that down again. Because it's got it has the anther and the filament. That's what they're looking for. This last one I'm looking for. Uh, all right, so that is the stigma. Well, I got some bad news for you. What's that? <laughs> it's not bad news. Hey, anybody get a G? G? Yeah, well, stigma. stigma. Well, I didn't know there was a number. D is the stigma. D? So, so what is D? Yeah, D is? Stigma. Right. D. E is yep. style. Style. F, F is over. Correct. And G, I lost. This is the, it's, I think it's a pistol. It's yeah. called the pistol. Yeah, I told you. This is encapsulating the whole. Wait, what was D again? D is stigma. So oh, that means so that means all of these on C would be male. Do we have to do the back side? If you haven't got time, that's fine. Male, H and H and H. Or you can finish it tomorrow. I'm trying to go. Don't you take these with you? Yeah, I'm going to take them with you. At least I hope you guys learned something. Some know. Yeah. And some are you know, guessing. That's fine. Thank you. Yeah, look at this. <laughs> yeah. hey, he waited until look at this guy. Yeah, no, you're going to laugh. Let's just scribble. Do you want to write your name on it? Greek writing. Mm -hmm. Just give me one thing. What, what's the one thing? I don't thing? know. One thing. What's the one thing? Uh, one thing. Are you writing your name on it?
I think we got the back of window, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's it. No, that's fine. That's the back side. No, that's yours. Yeah. Do you want to know how that tours? You just like see my Greek brand in the back. <laughs> you see the simplest explanation. Oh, yeah. You know, one word. He understands. Words. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Yeah, if yeah, Mr. Cruz will let me, I'll, I'm going to grade these. And we'll get back to you next year. <laughs> I'll be here. I'm here Don't you? So I will tell you, the toughest group of students to teach. Anyone know? Anyone know? I know. Kindergarten. College. Middle schoolers. Gosh. Really? Yeah, because they had attitudes. I was a bad middle school. I rather, I rather teach you guys. I know you're, just, you're seniors. What's your seniors? Yeah. Right. Three of us are. Thank you. So I'm sure Mr. Cruz is doing a wonderful job. You guys. I appreciate letting you have your time. So, so, Mike, it's all yours. I'm done. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Stone. Many thanks, Mr. Right. That's my professor. Does he watch it? Is it live? Yeah. No, it's not live. It's not is it? Live. Is it live? Yeah. No. You guys see what this. Yeah, it's been live ever since you walked in the door. No, you're messing with this. I hope not. <laughs> 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 Did you really? No. <laughs>